Now, if we have repeated solutions, then we'll use a method called reduction of order in order to find a second linearly independent solution. So a repeated solution shows up uh, here when you make your substitution y equals e to the mx this equation becomes m squared plus 4m plus 4 equals 0 and m squared plus 4m plus 4 factors into a perfect square factors into m plus 2 times m plus 2 so when we solve we're going to get m is equal to negative 2 and from the second factor we get exactly the same same answer so we get only one solution y1 equals e to the negative 2x well a uh, second order ODE will have two linearly independent solutions so to construct a second solution we're going to use this method called reduction of order in reduction of order you can use reduction of order when you know one solution and you're looking for a second so one solution is known you want to let y equal some function u times the solution that you know I'm just going to write that as uy1 and then make a substitution in this case our y1 is e to the negative 2x so for for our specific example I'll do that over here. I, I think I'll have enough room. <laughs> I just have a hard time drawing a straight line. But, okay, so over here we're going to let y equal u, that's a function of x, times e to the negative 2x. And we're going to substitute into the original differential equation. So when I substitute in, I need y prime and here I need to use a product rule I'm gonna get u prime times e to the negative 2x and then the derivative of e to the negative 2x will carry down that negative 2 so I'm gonna get negative 2 times u e to the negative 2x and I will also need the second derivative so my second derivative I'm going to, uh, again, here for each one of these, I'm going to use the product rule. Uh, the derivative of u prime is u double prime. That gets multiplied by e to the negative 2x. When I take the derivative of e to the negative 2x, the negative 2 comes down. So I get negative 2 u prime e to the negative 2x. On this second term, using the product rule take the derivative of u that'll give me a u prime so I get negative 2 u prime e to the negative 2x and then the derivative of e to the negative 2x will carry that negative 2 down and it'll give me a plus 4 u e to the negative 2x now, these two middle terms will combine to give me a negative 4 u prime e to the negative 2x. Now when I substitute into the differential equation y double prime plus 4y prime plus 4y gives me 0 then I've got my y double prime that's u double prime e to the negative 2x minus combining these two terms gives me minus 4u prime e to the negative 2x plus 4u e to the negative 2x okay, then I have plus 4 times y prime that's up here plus 4 times u prime 
e to the negative 2x minus 2u e to the negative 2x and then I have plus 4y write that down here and y is u e to the negative 2x and that should all be equal to 0 so to save space because each one of these terms has an e to the negative 2x in it I'm going to factor out the e to the negative 2x and then simplify my terms so I have u double prime minus 4u prime plus 4u plus 4u prime and here I have 4 times negative 2u that's going to give me a minus 8u and then from here plus 4u equals 0. Now when you make this substitution using reduction of order all of your non-derivative terms should cancel out and notice that they do here if I combine my 4u and my 4u that gives me 8u and there's my negative 8u these terms all cancel out I could also uh, divide by e to the negative 2x and that exponential will drop out and it leaves me with u double prime I'll combine these u prime terms actually they, they drop out in this case too uh, the derivative terms don't always drop out they just happen to in this case so these terms cancel out in this case I end up with u double prime is equal to 0 now typically in reduction of order you make a substitution here and and I'll go ahead and do it I'm gonna let w equal u prime so that w prime is going to be the same as u double prime and this is the actual reduction of order changing this from a second order ODE to a first order ODE that you can solve by integrating both sides this is going to give me w equals and here the when you integrate a uh, zero you get a constant I'm gonna call that C1 and then back substitute W is U prime so you get U prime equals C1 and to solve for U you'd want to uh, integrate C1 with respect to X which gives you C1 X plus C2 this is our u now if we go back to what our substitution was initially way way up here we said that y is u times e to the negative 2x it's right here so we want to go back and use this substitution to get the solution to the equation y is u which is C1x plus C2 e to the negative 2x if you distribute you're going to get C1x e to the negative 2x plus C2 e to the negative 2x this is a general solution to the equation and notice that this second term that we have here the e to the negative 2x corresponds to the solution that we we came up with where is my mouse there we go corresponds to this solution that we came up with over here this is actually our y1 that's actually our y1 
And so our second linearly independent solution is x times e to the negative 2x. In general, when you have repeated solutions, you can just multiply by x. Or the rule is actually down here at the bottom of the page. If a linear homogeneous ODE with constant coefficients has an auxiliary equation with a solution of m equals alpha multiplicity n, then the solutions to the ODE, on the, the first solution is going to be e to the alpha x, and then to get the second solution you have x e to the alpha x, and you just keep multiplying by an additional factor of x until you have your n solutions that correspond to your multiplicity.